Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler and I'm going to go over your notes for weight. So there is a difference between mass and weight. So in this reading, which is available to you in Schoology as well, you're going to do these reading and then you are going to complete this note sheet as I go through it. So you have the reading, you're going to read the five paragraphs and then you're going to write down two things that you thought were important and then one question that you might have. All right, so we're going to do this section. So the definition of weight and mass. So we already know what the definition of mass is, which is the amount of matter something has. The definition of weight is that it is a force that depends on the mass of the object and the gravitational acceleration. So the difference between mass and weight. So again, weight is a force that is due to gravity. And then mass is again, the amount of stuff and that mass never changes or weight again is a force and is dependent on the acceleration. So the formula for finding weight is actually capital W, which stands for weight is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration. So if you want to write it in terms of um, Newton's second law, it's F is equal to M times G, which again, G is the gravitational acceleration. So the gravitational acceleration for Earth, we already know what that is, which is the 9.8 meters per second per second or meters per second squared. We have to be told what the gravitational acceleration is of different planets because again, that's how you find weight, which again is a force. So we're gonna do these practice problems. So we have an astronaut that has a mass of 45 kilograms. And then the question is, what is the weight on Earth? So again, our knowns. Our knowns is the mass, that's where kilograms again tells us, and it says mass of, then we know G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So the formula again for the unknown, which again, the unknown is the weight, that's what we're solving for. The formula again is F is equal to MG or W, capital W is equal to MG. So you plug in the given information, we see that we're multiplying, and again, kilograms times meters per second squared is Newtons, which again, that is the reason why we know that weight is force. All right, so next problem says that you have the astronaut goes to the moon. Again, the gravitational acceleration at the moon is 1.6 meters per second squared. What is the astronaut's weight on the moon? So again, the knowns. We know the mass. Again, mass doesn't change no matter where they are because mass is always the same, so it's 45 kilograms. Again, gravitational acceleration for the moon is 1.6 meters per second squared. Again, our unknown is the um, weight or the force on the moon. So again, we have our formula. We plug in all the information that we know. We multiply it. So therefore, that is the force or the weight of the man on the moon. So again, the question on your sheet says, when the astronaut went to the moon, did his weight change? Well, of course, when we look at our calculations, we see that yes, it did change, but his mass did not change because again, mass is the amount of matter that an object has. All right, moving on to our finish up our notes. So I have a rocket that has a mass of 200 kilograms. What is the weight? Again, this is weight on Earth. So again, we have all of our knowns. You have your formula, you plug everything in. So therefore, that is my weight of the rocket. So looking at our picture, it's asking us here that we're gonna draw a free body diagram, which shows that the thrust the applied thrust is 6, 000, I'm sorry, 6,000 newtons. And therefore, here is our free body diagram where our thrust is that direction up away where gravity, of course, is our um, downward pulling force. So we know that the weight of the rocket is 1960 newtons and our thrust is 6,000 newtons. Now the question is asking us, what is the acceleration of the rocket? So if I know my force, okay, if I know my total forces, which is what net force is, again, in the direction of how we have our picture, we know that it's going to be 6,000 newtons minus 1960 newtons, because again, we have our 
uh, opposite direction of our forces mean we're going to subtract. So therefore the net force is upward direction, which is 40, 40 newtons upward because 6,000 is bigger. So therefore we know that our net force is our 40, 40 newtons. Our mass, again, of the rocket is 200 kilograms. So we're going to calculate our acceleration. So again, our formula for Newton's second law is F is equal to MA, or you can use the rearranged formula to solve for acceleration, which is net force divided by mass, plug in all the information that have been given. So therefore that my acceleration is 20.2 meters per second per second or meters per second squared. Okay, so these are the different calculations that you need to be able to do from the information that you've been given. This will be on your test. If you have any questions, please make sure you reach out.